The next tool that we are going to need in this course is a hex editor. A hex editor is a program which allows us to see the inner contents of files on our computer. It also allows us to edit them. If you are a beginner and never heard of or used a hex editor, I recommend the HXD hex editor. Mostly because it is pretty solid and it could be downloaded for free. Let me show you how to obtain HXD. I begin by opening my browser and next I search for HXD. Then I pick the first result. This is HXD's website, a freeware hex editor and disk editor. If we scroll down a little bit, we get to the download link. In this page we can see many different versions of this program. You can choose both the language and the edition. I'm going to download the English language and portable edition. The difference is that the portable edition works out of the box. You just extract the files and then you can click on the program and it works. In the installation edition, you have to install the program on your computer. I really prefer this edition, the portable edition. So this is the version I'm going to download. I click the download link and next I click OK. The download has finished. I open Total Commander and at this point I can close the browser. In Total Commander you can see my downloads folder. Next we need to extract it. This is a zip file which means that it contains files inside. Right click on this file and then extract all. Next I click extract. And I get here the extracted folder which contains those files. Basically, the only important file is this executable file. We can just click on this file and it works out of the box. However, I do recommend that you move this folder into a better location. Don't just leave it in the downloads folder. In my case, I'm going to cut this folder and paste it in my programs folder where I keep all my programs on my computer. Now I press Ctrl plus V to paste it here. As you can see the folder has moved here. Let's check out this program. I click hxd.exe. As this is the first start of hxd, hxd will request to create a configuration file. Just click OK. Basically, if you just open hxd, you will see nothing interesting. That is because this program is used to view other files. In the right pane of Total Commander, I have a few example files. 
This is, for example, a picture, a PNG picture. And this is a text file. We also have an executable file here. As you are probably have some familiarity with those kind of files, whenever you click on an executable file, a program is launched. Let's see how those files look like inside HXD. Let's begin with the text file. I just drag it into HXD. And this is what we see. It seems like this file is made of numbers. Basically, every file on your system is really just made of numbers. As you can probably see here, those are a bit strange numbers, as they also contain letters from time to time. This is what we call base 16, and we are going to talk about it a bit later. For now, I just wanted to show you how HXD looks like. On the left pane, we have the numeric representation of the file, and on the right pane, we have text. The X editor will attempt to show the numbers as text. It will not always succeed, but it will try its best. As we can see, this text which says this is a text file is exactly the text that we can see if we open this file with some text editor. Okay, but this was a pretty simple file. Let's try another file, for example, the PNG picture. We drag it into HXD, and we can see that a new tab was open. It is called greensteps.png. This time we can see that there are many more numbers. We can use the scroller to go down. This is actually the contents of this file. This part, which is called offset, is the location inside the file. As you can see here, when we scroll down, those numbers increase. The offset is also in base 16. As this file is not really a text file, you can see that the text pane does not contain anything really interesting. It looks like a lot of random characters. Next, let me show you that we can also open an exe file, which opens pretty much the same as the other file. It is just made of numbers. You might have some other preferred hex editor. And in this case, I just want to specify a few features which are really important for me. They are pretty much break dealers. If your hex editor doesn't have those features, you will have to change it. Okay, the first feature which I really care about is changing the amount of columns. As you can see here, we have exactly 16 columns. If I wanted, I could, for example, change it into 8. And then I have 8 columns. We are going to use this feature from time to time, so make sure that your hex editor is capable of doing it. The next feature is searching. This is really important. We are going to use it from time to time. 
Searching allows us to find a, a sequence of numbers inside the file, or maybe search for text inside the file. In HXD, we can just press Ctrl plus F, and we get this dialog, this search dialog. We can also get to this dialog from the menu. At this point, we can search both both for text or numbers. For example, I can search for the following hex numbers. And then I can see the results. I can also search for text. The next feature is copying data. It is very important for me that your hex editor allows you to copy numbers to some other program. For example here, maybe I want to copy those numbers. I press Ctrl plus C and now if I open another program, for example Notepad, I can paste those numbers into the new program. Control plus V will paste the numbers. As you can see, those are exactly the same numbers. The last feature I care about is editing. As this is a hex editor, I expect it to be able to edit files, which means to change files. Let me show you an example. This is the text file which we have just seen. I could, for example, edit it by adding some numbers here. I press insert to be able to insert numbers. And then I click some numbers with my keyboard and they will be inserted here. I get this question which ask if I'm sure that I want to change the file size because I'm going to write numbers inside this file. I just pick do not ask this question again and now as you can see I can just enter numbers. I can also save the file and change the text file into a new file. Let me tell you about some other options for hex editors. Two very common options are as written here. The first one is called Hex Workshop. This is my preferred hex editor. It costs money, but you can, if you want, download the trial version and try it for some time. Another common option is called 010 Editor, which is also a very professional hex editor. It also costs money, but you could try it for a while. I don't think that at this point, if you are a beginner, you should buy any of those hex editors. In my opinion, you should just begin with the free hex editor and continue from there. Hex editors are really like clothes. They don't make who you are. If you are great, you will be great with any hex editor. Anyways, in this course, I'm going to use Hex Workshop. Let me just show you how it looks like. This is Hex Workshop. It is pretty much the same as HXD. As 
Let me show you how some files look like inside Hex Workshop. Let's open the executable file for example. This is how it looks like. Basically all Hex editors are pretty much the same. On the left we have the offset inside the file. Then we have the contents of the file as numbers. And on the right pane we have a textual representation. Basically this is it about hex editors. Make your choice, pick some hex editor and let's continue to the next lesson.